Top 29 Unconquerable Sea Forts That Standing the Test of Time Hello friends, join us on a thrilling journey as we explore the top 29 unconquerable sea forts that have stood the test of time. Sea forts are fortified stone structures located in the ocean. They can be found in the shallows near the coast, or set further off the mainland in deeper water. Prepare to be amazed by the ingenuity and resilience of these historical landmarks. Number 29, Fort Jefferson, USA. A revered landmark, Fort Jefferson, stands in Dry Tortugas National Park, Florida, and boasts the title of the largest brick masonry structure in America. Built in 1847 to safeguard a crucial deepwater anchorage, the fort played a vital defensive role during the American Civil War. Number 28, São Marcelo Fort, Brazil. Facing the city of Salvador in Bahia, Brazil, São Marcelo Fort stands guard over the Baía de Todos os Santos. Built in the early 17th century, this local landmark played a crucial role in defending the city during the Dutch rule of Northeast Brazil from 1630 to 1654. Number 27, Fort Pampas, Netherlands. Built in the late 1800s, Fort Pampas rests on a man-made island in the Eijmeer, close to Amsterdam. It's among 42 forts that were part of the defense line of Amsterdam. The whole network of fortifications is now a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Number 26, Fort Sumter, USA. Perched on a man-made island close to Charleston, South Carolina, Fort Sumter stands as another landmark among America's most significant sea forts. Though unfinished in 1861, this very location ignited the flames of the American Civil War with the Battle of Fort Sumter. Today, it draws visitors eager to delve into its historical significance. Number 25, Fort Alexander, Russia. Located near St. Petersburg and Kronstadt on an artificial island in the Gulf of Finland, Fort Alexander, a naval fortress shaped like a bean, also holds the nickname Plague Fort. In the late 1800s, scientists selected this site to conduct research on Yersinia pestis, the bacterium responsible for the plague. The laboratory ceased operations in 1917. Number 24, Flakfortet, Denmark. A short boat trip from central Copenhagen in the Orsund, Flakfortet stands as one of three artificial guardians of Copenhagen Harbor's entrance. Built in 1914, the fort has transitioned into a cultural center. Number 23, Fort Carroll, USA. Bearing the name of Charles Carroll, a signer of the Declaration of Independence, Fort Carroll, completed in 1850, once guarded Baltimore's access point from the Patapsco River. This island and its distinctive hexagonal sea fort now stand abandoned. Number 22, Fort Se, Angelo, Malta. Standing proudly in Burgu, Malta, at the heart of the Grand Harbor, Fort St. Angelo is a formidable Bastianid fortress, built in the 16th century. It holds historical significance as the headquarters of the Order of St. John during the pivotal Great Siege of Malta in 1565. Number 21, Fort Denison, Australia. A unique landmark in Sydney Harbour, Fort Denison, finished construction in 1857 as a defensive measure against foreign ships. Interestingly, the island previously served as a penal colony for convicts. Number 20, Fort Monroe, USA. Sitting at the southern tip of the Virginia Peninsula, within Old Point Comfort, is Fort Monroe, a former military installation completed in 1834. This fort held its ground for the Union throughout the American Civil War, despite Virginia's affiliation with the Confederacy. Interestingly, the site also holds the distinction of being the location where the first Africans arrived in English-speaking North America. Number 19, Sumanlina, Finland. Sumanlina consists of eight islands, six of which are fortified. The islands are located roughly 2.5 miles, for kilometers, southeast of Helsinki's city center. The design of the bastion fortifications was heavily influenced by the aforementioned Vauban, and this is why UNESCO has designated Sumanlina as a World Heritage Site. Number 18, Fort Gorges, USA. 
built between 1858 and 1864 on Hog Island Ledge in Casco Bay, Maine, Fort Gorges served its intended purpose for a short time, never housing troops or witnessing combat. The fort saw its final use during World War II, storing submarine mines for the Army. Number 17, Fort Drum, Philippines. The United States constructed Fort Drum, a heavily fortified island resembling a battleship, in 1909 at the mouth of Manila Bay in the Philippines. It participated in the 1942 Battle of Corregidor and the 1944 to 1945 Philippines Campaign. Number 16, Fort Clinch, USA. While primarily intended for coastal defense, Fort Clinch finds its place on this list due to its role in the American Civil War. Both Confederate and Union troops occupied the fort during the conflict, with the Federal forces utilizing Clinch as their regional base of operations throughout the war. Additionally, the U.S. Army maintained a garrison at the fort during the brief Spanish-American War. Number 15, Mirajanjira, India. Situated on an island off the coast of Murad, a town in Maharashtra's Raga district, Mirajanjira is one of the world's most impressive sea forts. Built in the 15th century, Janjira remained virtually unconquerable and is considered one of the strongest coastal forts in India. Number 14, Red Sands Towers, England. Standing strong in the Thames estuary are the Red Sands Towers, a group of iron structures built during World War II. Designed for the British Army, they played a crucial role in safeguarding London from German air attacks, including the Luftwaffe's bombers and the V-1 and V-2 rockets. Number 13, Fort Boyard, France. Built in 1857, the imposing, stadium-like Fort Boyard stands guard in the Perchus d'Antioche Straits, off France's west coast. Originally constructed to shield the Roquefort arsenal from attacks by the British Royal Navy, it's now the iconic setting for the long-running French game show Fort Boyard, 1990-present. Number 12, Kizkalisi, Turkey. Standing in the Mediterranean Sea, off the coast of Mersin province in Turkey, is Kizkalisi, a picturesque island castle translating to Maiden's Castle in Turkish. The castle boasts a history dating back to at least the 13th century. Number 11, Horse Sand Fort, England. The largest of the four 19th century Palmerston forts, named after Lord Palmerston, is Horse Sand Fort, located in the Solent off the south coast of England. These forts were constructed in response to the perceived threat of a French invasion. Number 10, Fort Louvois, France. Standing on the Chapis Islet near Bourse Franc Lou Chapis, Fort Louvois is one of France's most renowned sea defenses. Built between 1691 and 1694 during the reign of Louis XIV, the fort is easily identified by its distinctive horseshoe shaped battery. Number 9, Trekroner Fort, Denmark. Built alongside Flakfortet and Middelgrundsfortet, Trekroner Fort also protected the entrance to the Danish capital. Notably, the fort played a key role in the Danish defense during the 1801 Battle of Copenhagen and also saw action during the British attack in 1807. Number 8, Fort of São Lourenço do Bugio, Portugal. Constructed between 1590 and 1657, the Fort of São Lourenço, also known as Torre do Bugio, served to safeguard the approach to the Tagus River and Lisbon. It remained garrisoned until at least 1911 before being converted into a lighthouse. Number 7, Borzi Nafplio, Greece. In the heart of Nafplio Harbor, Greece, lies Borzi Castle, a fully refurbished and popular tourist attraction with Venetian roots dating back to 1471. Number 6, Fort de Berthome, France. Dating back to the 14th century, Fort de Berthome's foundations boast a rich history. In the 15th century, the garrison was bolstered to both defend the Goulet de Brest, the Straits of Brest, and deter potential English attacks. Number 5, Fort Mahon, France. Built on the orders of Louis XIV, Fort Mahon was designed by the renowned military architect Vauban, 
considered the greatest engineer of his era, to safeguard the port of Ambletos at the mouth of the Slack River. Number 4. Humber Forts, England The Humber Forts, Bull Sand Fort and Highly Sand Fort, are two imposing fortifications located in the mouth of northern England's Humber estuary. Though originally intended for use during the First World War, the forts ultimately played a role in the Second World War. Number 3. Pennon de Vélez de la Gomera, Spain A Spanish exclave and rocky tidal island in the western Mediterranean Sea is home to a small military garrison. Uniquely, it's connected to Morocco by a sandy isthmus, creating one of the world's shortest international borders. Number 2. Fort Nathan Hale, USA Despite its modest size, Fort Nathan Hale holds a significant place in American military history as a vital defensive structure throughout the 18th and 19th centuries. Named for the Revolutionary War hero Nathan Hale, the fort played a role in both the Revolutionary War and the War of 1812, shielding Connecticut from British forces. Number 1. Stack Rock Fort, Wales While the initial proposal for a fortification at Stack Rock, a Pembrokeshire island in the Milford Haven waterway, came from Thomas Cromwell, it wasn't until 1852, over three centuries later, that a garrison was finally established to guard the waterway. Notably, Stack Rock Fort remains one of the rare Victorian sea forts in the UK that is still relatively well preserved. Thanks for sticking around until the end. If you want to see more content, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload. Also, let me know what other content you'd like to see in the comments below. Bye-bye.